Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to change menu font size in Shopify. As you can see right here, I'm currently on my Shopify store and this is how the menu looks at the moment. To change the menu font size is quite straightforward. The first thing you will need to do is go into your Shopify admin page. Once on the admin page, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on online store. After tapping on online store, you will be redirected to the themes page. Once on the themes page, I want you to scroll down a bit and beside the theme that you are using, you are going to tap on the three dots and you are going to select edit code. By the way, you can do this with whichever theme that you are using. After doing that, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option once more and you're going to tap on theme liquid. If you don't see theme liquid, you can search for it in the search files right here. After doing that, the next thing you're going to do is tap anywhere on the screen. You simply want to put your cursor anywhere on the screen. Then depending on the device that you're using, for example, if you're using a Windows device, you're going to press down on Cult F if you are using an Apple device like a MacBook or so on, you are going to press down on Command F. After doing that, I want you to type in this box that you see pop up, forward slash, then you are going to type in body, and you are going to tap on enter. After tapping on enter, you are going to see this right here, and I want you to tap right where you see the bracket in front of style. And you are going to press down on enter. After doing that, you will create a blank line as you can see right here. The next thing you are going to do, you are going to copy and paste this code that I will be providing in the description. So you are going to copy the code. Once you have copied the code, you are going to go back and you are going to paste the code right here. After doing that, all you will need to do now is tap on save. So let's tap on save real quick. After you have saved it, if we were to go back, you can see this is how the font looks at the moment. And if I were to refresh the page, you will see that it is different. And by the way, I can minimize or increase the size even more. As you can see at the moment, it is at 18 PX, as you can see right there. So it is a bit bigger. And if I would want it to be even bigger, all I would have to do Right where you see 18px, so let's say I want it to be 25px, all I would need to do is type in 25, then tap on save once more. Once the changes have been saved, I'm going to go back, then I'm going to refresh the page, and you're going to realize that the font is even bigger, as you can see right there. And that's basically it. Also, if you would like to increase or decrease the font size for mobile, right where you see 12px, you would be able to do that. So let me carry this back down to, let's say, for example, 18px once more. Then tap on save again. And again, I'm going to go back and I'm going to refresh this page right here. So let's refresh the page real quick. And you can see right there that the font size has been reduced. If you would like to make any other changes to the header section, you can do that. And to do that, all you'll need to do, you are going to go back. So let me close out of this real quick. Once on the themes page once more, all you will need to do now is scroll down and you're going to tap on customize. After you have tapped on customize, you are going to automatically be redirected to the editor page as you can see right here. And you can make changes to the header section. All you have to do is simply tap on header. Then from there, you can change the positioning of the logo. So if you would like your logo to be placed to the top left, or if you would like it to place in the center, you can do that. You can simply select the logo positioning right there. You can also change the menu if you want by tapping on change. And you can change the menu type also. So at the moment, you can see that I have a drop down menu. Let's say I would like to change that. I'll simply tap right where you see drop down menu and you can see two other options. For example, if I were to select drawer, 
you can see three dashes right here. So now visitors would have to tap on the three dashes to access the menu option. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also, if you would like to add a sticky header, you can do that because at the moment you can see the header right there. Whenever I scroll down or up, you don't see the header. If you would like the header to always be visible, you are going to tap right where you see sticky header. And from there, you can tap on always. So now whether you are scrolling up or down, the header section will always be visible. Or if you would like it to be visible only on scroll up. So when scrolling down, you don't see the header. But once you are scrolling up, you will see the header section. Or if you want always but reduce logo size, you can also select that. You can also change the color of the text or the background color of the header by tapping right where you see color scheme. You could tap on edit. Then for example, if I wanted to change the text, I would tap right where you see text and you'll see a circle. So let's say I wanted to change the text to red. I could simply tap on red and you can see that the color of the text has changed as you can see right there. You can also change the background color by tapping right there. Then if I wanted to change the background color to blue, you can see it right there that the background color has now changed. And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. By the way, if you would like to add an announcement bar, if you don't have one on your header section, all you have to do when you go back and you see header, you could tap on add section. Then from there, you could select announcement bar and you will be able to add an announcement bar or you can add a second announcement bar if you want, as you can see right there. Once you have finished and you have made all of your changes, you are going to tap on save and that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.